Gamescom 2018 approaches. And on August 22nd, whispers and murmurings among the community are that when Overwatch takes over the main stage, it will be to reveal new content. So, I can't help but speculate guys, hype trains, no matter how small are my Achilles heel, so let's get right into this. A couple of things to note right off the bat. Back in Gamescom 2017, Blizzard revealed two things for Overwatch. They revealed the May animated short, which to save us all from shedding those manly tears, I will cut off right now. No! Snowball! You killed... Oh god damn it. And a new map, which I believe was Junkertown. And given we are set to be treated to 1 hour and 15 minutes of Overwatch, this time at Gamescom, it is safe to expect that the team won't just be fluffing their feathers and rambling about the Overwatch League's opening season for all of this time. Additionally, a free weekend of Overwatch begins from the 23rd to the 27th of August. This might imply that something juicy enough to tempt new players into giving the game a shot could be on the cards. So, new content is set to arrive, is prime to arrive. And many of us are pretty hungry for it, given the recently recycled Summer Games event. What have they been working on in the meantime? So first off, it is high time for another animated short. And I don't say that to be entitled. The lore within Blizzard games has just always captivated me. And Overwatch still has so much untapped potential on this front, with so many heroes still lacking their own animated shorts and fleshed out backstories. On top of this, well, it has been nine months since the last animated short featuring Reinhardt's Crusader Days. So we are in a bit of a drought on the story front. This doesn't bother most community members, but for me, the lore is always the backbone of a game. Or at least recently in my old age. And for any youngling whippersnappers watching this video, your time will come too. When your mechanical skills start to wane, and things like story become a lot more important. So hey, which hero would you like to see an animated short about? For me, I can't help myself, it would have to be Symmetra, if I could choose. I want to know more about Vishkar. Symmetra all in all seems like good people, well, as you can be a little bit psyche from time to time, a little bit socially cold, but apart from all of that, I do find her an extremely interesting character, and while I don't really keep up to date with things like the Overwatch comics and all of that kind of stuff, I do remember reading up on one about Symmetra where she was kind of morally conflicted about the direction that, uh, that the Vishkar projects were kind of taking things, in that she was doubting their motives, whether their motives were pure, and she had a kind of, well yeah, a crisis of morality. It would be really, really cool to see that kind of explored. Because right now she just seems like a little bit of a hard ass from time to time, especially against Pua Torbjorn and Lucio. And this also might just be me, but I would personally love to see a flash forward animated short. That would be awesome. I'd really, really like to see the story start to move forward a little bit. As sweet and as awesome and as legit as the kind of flashback, fleshing out the backstory animated shorts are for a lot of the heroes, it would be really, really cool to see things actually progressing. Maybe even see a character get killed off in the future or something. But hey, that is just me. I'm just saying that the game has been out for, what, two years now? And we still haven't really seen any actual story progression. It's all been flashback material, and yeah. Now, just to get this next pointer out of the way, will we be seeing a new hero announced at Gamescom this year in the Overwatch segment on the Blizzard stage? Well, probably not, right? Hammond was very, very recently released. I'll call him Wrecking Ball, if you will. Screw it, his real name is Hammond, as far as I'm concerned. I think there are some people who are kind of silently praying that... Um, the whole Junkertown theme, because you know that's where Hammond landed and made his name as Wrecking Ball and all of that good stuff, that maybe, maybe the uh, the Queen of Junkertown will kind of be hinted at and all of that good stuff, but I feel like it's way too soon. I don't think that this is really going to come to pass. However, what I can't help but get all wiggly about is the thought that maybe, maybe the Torbjorn reworks might be announced, maybe even demonstrated. Obviously, this is something that's been in the pipeline for a while. They've been kind of tweaking Torbjorn in private testing. We still have no real concrete idea of what the changes are going to be to Torbjorn, only that his Molten Core is either being reworked or completely removed and replaced with a new ability, and his turrets are also going to function differently as well. 
Probably something to do with him no longer having to stand there and repeatedly hit his small turret with a hammer. Which, let's be real, wasn't exactly the most engaging form of gameplay. So I am super excited about that. This is obviously probably not going to happen, but a man can dream and I think it will be awesome. So obviously in Gamescom 2017 and the Overwatch stage, Junkertown was also announced. So could we be seeing a new map? This actually seems quite likely. The latest maps to be released are Petra for Deathmatch games in Arcade and Rialto. However, each of these maps were released back in May three months ago. And three months before that, Ayutai Adlibla was released in February. Maybe I'll have Athena pop up right now and correct me on the pronunciation of that one. Welcome to Ayutea. So, going by this happy little trend that we've just recently established, we are due a new map very, very soon. If not in Gamescom, perhaps in the weeks directly following. So, the question then becomes, where would we like to visit next? I personally would love to visit Bastion's map. We do already have a forest map, kind of, with Black Forest, but it's not really a forest map, it's more kind of like ruins, it's all dark and dingy and muddy and evil looking. Whereas Bastion's map is kind of lush and green, and just looks like the kind of place that I'd like to visit. I also do think it would be very, very unique to have this kind of lush, green, much more open style of map, as opposed to just adding another map that's kind of, uh, you know, like a ruined cityscape or some other form of cityscape terrain. It would be quite refreshing. You know what else would be refreshing? A new game mode. I think a new game mode would be amazing. Not that pushing payloads isn't fun and all, but I believe a thing or two can be learned from Heroes of the Storm in this regard. Now again, I know this is extremely unlikely, and I'm not expecting this to happen, I'm just saying it would be awesome. While all around less popular than the other juggernauts in the MOBA genre, HOTS has some amazing game modes. Particularly those which involve earning points to temporarily recruit an extremely powerful boss NPC to fight alongside your team. Now just imagine for a moment, a map in Overwatch in which we could recruit one of those gigantic Omnic war bots from Volskaya. That would be awesome. Maybe we're wasting our time talking about it because it's, well, one in a million of it ever happening. But the point still stands, I think that some new game modes could be really really refreshing um, every single map is essentially either boiling down to stand on this objective or push this payload. And while that is definitely enough to carry the game as it is, it does sustain competitive play, obviously, but I definitely think there's a lot more potential here as well. So, as well as a new map being released, it will be a massive, massive bonus if this new map also introduced a whole new game mode. At least in my view. So what do you think? Is the Torbjorn rework going to be discussed at Gamescom? I think that would be awesome. Or will it be, once again, just like in 2017, a new map being announced with no new game mode, unfortunately, but also a new Overwatch animated short. Fingers crossed for Symmetra. But hey, that'll about do it from me, guys. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to GameLeap Overwatch so you don't miss any future videos from me all the rest of the coaches on the website. So cheers everyone, have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.